And then with the streaming, I guess uh, it's made it to where, yeah, there's a lot more music being put out there, but it's made it to where artists can, I guess, get through the like phase of learning and whatnot yeah. faster yeah. and easier because you're not having to go into a studio every time you want to record a song. If you have your own equipment, you can test out what you like, what you want to do, and you can put in as many hours as you want into one song and not have to be you know, counting your pennies, seeing like whether you can afford to have the studio session or not. That is true. Word. Right. I feel like the one downside is, and they might agree with me, is that since there is streaming and anybody could send you a link, it's gotten to the point where like a hundred sorry people will send them a link, <laughs> and then now they're like, I don't want to listen to your mixtape. Yeah, right. bro, but I'm good at what I do. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? <laughs> that's right. That's like, true. And, and that's, that's one of the main downsides, is that it is so oversaturated, it's so diluted, that it's hard for somebody to kind of shine unless you really got that marketing strategy, unless you really got that money behind you. You got that bag, I feel like it makes it easy. It facilitates. Right. Everything costs money. Ain't nothing free. You know what I'm saying? Because once you're done doing the music, that's the easy part. Getting in front of people that are actually going to listen to it, share it, tell their friends about it. You know what I mean? Buy your single. Right. You know, because they'll stream it, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to buy it. Once you get people buying your stuff, somebody put it to me this way. They're like, you got to get it to where when your album drops, if somebody only has $5, and they have to choose between your music and eating, they want to listen to your music. Right. So that's, yeah. I mean, you gotta be hungry. 